Hello everyone, today is um, Thursday, December 2nd, 2021 at 1.13 a.m. in the morning. <clears throat> I ought to be going, I'm about to go to bed right after this, right after this video, but um, <clears throat> so it was... It's now a different day, so I'm going to refer to Wednesday as yesterday. So yesterday, um, a few hours ago, I took a shower, <clears throat> and they were, um, you know, make my organs were squishy. You know, bend over to try to wash my feet while I'm taking a shower. <clears throat> and also, when I was at work for several hours, like like for a long time at work um yesterday they kept on attacking the back of the, attacking the back of my head with the directed energy weapon <clears throat> and so um at at one point like I've had this happen before that they would make it feel like as if um as if they're Whole, I never had this happen to me, but it make make it feel like as if, um, like I can physically feel it, but it's in like invisible and remote, you know. But I can f physically feel like as if someone took took an actual gun and pressed it uh, pressed it real hard, like against the back of my head. That's how how it would feel and then I got it in different areas of the back of my head they were attacking the different areas of the back of my head um with the energy direct the energy weapons and for the past like two or three days they've been back up to vibrating me so intensely and like they're even vibrating me right now <clears throat> so um And then even if I get like what I just described as the back of my head, you know, them hit me with their energy weapons and the narcissistic purse, first thing they want to do is be like, oh, well, that, that's a sign you got diabetes and stuff like that. I'm like, no, I assure you I'm not diabetic. <clears throat> but, um, it's, and, and then, of course, off, off and on throughout the night, perps shining their, um, you know, their vehicle window, I mean, vehicle lights into my, the ba the motel bathroom window <clears throat> and stuff like that, you know, <clears throat> so, <clears throat> um, this is more like a documentation right now of, because it seems like as if they cooled down a lot for a while with were hitting me with the energy weapons, and then they start back up again. You know, so, and they left me alone with hitting my heart with the energy weapons. That's how I know it was the energy weapons and nothing else, because for the past few days, they have not hit my heart. But yesterday, they hit the back of my head with the energy weapons. <clears throat> like I never I never had a gun like pulled on me or nothing like that but that you know you see nothing but with the directed energy weapons it feels like an invisible gun you can't see it but it can, you can feel it um like as if a gun is being pressed into the back of my head and then they move it in different areas like you know on left side for one moment and then the right side or the middle and stuff like that and and like when they were attacking me with with my heart like maybe a week or a few days ago they would attack me on the right side of my heart and then stop and then maybe five hours later attack me on the left side and then stop for a while and then intensively attacking me like all in the middle or different areas of my heart and stuff <clears throat> and stuff and stuff like that. And so also at one point they were um trying to make pain and pressure on the top part of my left foot. And 
And so it's like, or they'll do stuff like vibrate my right foot and not the left or vibrate the left foot and not the right. Maybe 30 minutes later or something, you know. So the way they're basically experimenting on our bodies and everything and experimenting on our minds and trying to get our soul and everything, you know, this is real. So, um, <clears throat> I'm kind of scared to go to sleep because, and I know I shouldn't be scared, and I know I need to pray about that, um, you know, when I try to go to sleep or wake up or whatever, those demonic images in my head that make me frightened to go back to sleep when I need it <clears throat> and stuff like that, and I'm being like attacked. And so, um, now they hit me right here, exactly right here. They're hitting me right here. And then the pain is shooting, like, they're hitting me, radiating or hitting me right here. And then the pain is shooting, like, through my eyeball and all the way down to my nose, like, right like right here it's like as if they're trying to put pressure on my left eye right now for some reason <clears throat> so um <sighs> excuse me it, it seems like as if the the gang stalkers are ramping it up to act like they want to try to kill us or have us dead, you know. It's getting really scary out here. And so now I'm on camera. I had so much I needed to say, but slipped my mind. I know I need to get me some sleep. But, um, it's like, I don't want to gross y'all out, but, um, I took the activated charcoal yesterday morning and I didn't eat breakfast and then I had lunch. I had some rice, carrots, and some of these little fried chicken baby bite baby chicken bites and um and I had a banana what else did I have I think that was about it and I had some little sauce on it and um for dinner I had oh I know I know what I need to say and for dinner I had pulled pork mashed potatoes and um green beans from Publix and so they had a white female perp named Serena and she was fixing my food you know at the deli and I said why are you serving me literally you know a literal half a spoonful of the mashed potatoes and stuff and she was like oh well I have difficulty um trying to I have difficult. She said, "I'm having difficulty trying to scoop it, scoop up the food or whatever." Something she said. Oh, I have difficulty trying to scoop up the food or whatever. And so then, right after, I turn around and there's a black man, in which I got that little video. He hurried up and put his phone down real quick. He had his phone. Looked like he had his phone aimed up at me. And and standing right behind me, and I'm sitting here feeling all uncomfortable and everything. You know, so I ordered four plates of food, like, and I ate one yesterday. I'm going to eat one t uh, today, and then I'm going to eat one, you know, for the next few days. But I'm concerned about the turkey that I have. I'm wondering if it's still safe to eat or if it's still good. I mean, I put it back in the freezer yesterday after Saturday. I had it in the fridge. You know, but it was frozen before that. So, you know, I'm wondering if it's still safe to eat. 
scared, kind of scared to eat it. <clears throat> but I don't know. I might be all right if I eat it. But um, <clears throat> so I was kind of tempted. A few hours ago, I was tempted to buy something sweet or dessert like. I wasn't even craving it, but I guess all the sweets around me, I was tempted to pick up something sweet to go eat. But I was brave enough to, you know, strong enough to not buy any um any pastries, desserts, sweets, or nothing like that. No ice cream, none of that. And I also bought me some fruits, vegetables, and juices. Well, a couple of little juices, but, you know, mainly some fruits and vegetables. And all that came up to be like $76 and something. And I'm like, damn. So, basically, that's like four days worth of food being $75 for me trying to eat healthier. Like, as I said, fruits and vegetables. And I also bought me some, um, this stuff called Skyr, S-K-Y-R, which is like Icelandic kind of yogurt, because they say it's best to have probiotics, you know, and I haven't been having probiotics that much lately anyway, um, but that Skyr is like yogurt and it has probiotic in it and it helps your good gut bacteria, so, um, I don't mean to tell TMI or gross y'all out, but because of the, um, <clears throat> oh, and I also had some of the yogurt and an apple for my, with my dinner as well. And I think I had a bread roll that came with the dinner. <clears throat> and so this girl, the way she fixed my food, some of my food, like certain plates weighed, felt heavier, way heavier than others. And it's like, what's wrong with this girl? You know, I mean, I know they weren't supposed to be exact, all the exact same weight or whatever. I mean, I guess it would vary, but the way she did it, it's like one plate will be like two or three times heavier than the other plate, you know? <clears throat> so, um, two plates cost it. Seven forty nine, and the other two plates costed um seven ninety nine, <clears throat> and so um so so you know I I mean I don't have a stove, I don't have any place you know I can cook. I just got the microwave in the fridge, but I heard that microwaving ain't healthy for you. There was a point in time I was trying to avoid microwave for a long time. But staying in motels and hotels and stuff, I ain't got no choice but to heat up my food through microwaving. <clears throat> so, um, I, I know it being the beginning of the month, I got errands to run. I know I'm going to be perked and stuff like that. And it's still, I still don't find any hope. I mean, I still, there's still no, um, I mean, I haven't found a solution to permanent, like a permanent solution for permanent housing, <clears throat> you know, and renting a room, it sucks because if you get the cheap $400, $500 renting a room um, at somebody's house, then you end up with an exploitative person that has a house with bed bugs and yet they it's like they rent those houses to people and they don't live in them or they'll have a certain room in a house that how you so so have i mean you luck out and you never get bed bugs but then other people they pay four hundred dollars a month to stay there and they gotta be bed bug infested and then they'll reverse it on you and lie on you and say that you're the one who brought bed bugs to their house when they've been having bed bugs in their house and then you got to get into an argument with them and then try to fight for your money back. And, um, it's just a big mess. And, or you'll have to deal with people who act like they rent rooms 
out for people and they want to try to be like a delusional landlord and <clears throat> if you pay eight or nine hundred dollars just to rent a room but then they say you cannot stay there throughout the day that you have to they want to make sure you have a job and they act like they don't trust you to be in that house only to just you, you know they only want you to just go there at night just to crash like you're only allowed to go there just to crash and spend like eight nine hundred dollars just to go and crash at night and then during the day you have to get up and go like the same way they do in a shelter like force you to get up at 5 30 in the morning and then by six o'clock you go eat breakfast and then after that by 6 30 you got to be gone and gone all day and then you got this early curfew but then you know when renting a room they basically act like they don't trust you well why are you renting out rooms to people if you want to act suspicious that's like with the uber drivers um why are you driving for uber if you act as suspicious of me you, you know <clears throat> so <clears throat> if you're suspicious and don't trust people um, why are you driving for Uber or why do you rent rooms out to people? And I'd be forgetting, um, you know, here I can walk, but see, I think that even if, if I would, um, it's hard to try to get, I mean, I never rent it on Airbnb and it's like, you don't even get the cheap places to live on Airbnb because Airbnb is like those rich ass vacation houses on Airbnb. So I never had any experience with renting, you know, on Airbnb. And I never succeeded at couch surfing because they say couch surfing is free. But then when you try to go sign up, they act like they want to charge you money. So that's why I never did couch surfing, you know, and the W-O-O, W-W-O-O-F, Wolfing Farms, I heard that they exploit their workers and stuff like that, you know, I heard about the exploitation with the wolfing and I heard opportunities about house sitting, but like they want to charge you like a $119 fee to join the to become to you know a year membership to become a house sitter so yeah i mean it's like as, as i say i'm kind of scared about tr uh, the attempt at trying to look for a room to rent because i don't like living with people and i don't like to have to deal with people's loud tv they allow music, they allow vehicles, they allow nothing, you know. And then you can't be comfortable or be yourself. So I would rather be off to myself. I don't like to try to control other people. Or, and I don't want to be, you know, trying to tell people how to live and stuff. But, like, people have want to exercise their right to be ignorant and obnoxious and stuff like that. You know, like, I like to be by myself, but I am get scared to be totally by myself because I feel like in case there's an emergency situation, I feel like, well, I need to have comfort of people being around. So I'm scared of the idea of being in total, total seclusion. You know, I even get scared here. And even when I have my other place, you know, places that I've stayed at, you know, Section 8 homes or whatever, I would seem, feel so scared and alone, but I would be all by myself. But at the same time, you know, if they had neighbors, but I would still feel scared about, you know, feel scared and alone and by myself and stuff. <clears throat> you know, afraid of bad things happening to me and stuff like that. But, you know, I feel like I would need, you know, to be, like, not living with people, but, you know, if I had neighbors or something, like, in case of any emergency, but, or, or, you know, I feel scared of suffering by myself, completely by myself, but, 
I don't like the idea of roommates because it's like workplace mobbing. Dealing with a roommate, you know, they put they they put all the bills on you and make you and like they force you to pay all the bills and clean the whole house. And then um while they dish out orders telling you what to do and then they don't contribute and then you got you had the roommate from hell or if you deal with workplace mobbing and you had that bossy coworker who sit there and make you do all the work and dish out orders telling you what, what to do while they sit on their ass and then they get paid higher than you do. And you wonder how is that, you know? And they're not your boss. Or they get more hours than you do. More work hours than you do. They vibrating the shit out of my body. I'm wondering if it's them right there. Because they didn't start vibrating me back up again until these people, these illegals, yeah, when they, with the red truck, when, when they come by. Like they vibrating my, my feet. My organs just vibrating everything, <clears throat> you know, but I don't even know. I got that in the back of my head to try, but I'm again, like, I don't, I don't want to rent, rent a room living with other people. I mean, Janet was kind of tolerable at first and then she turned around, she turned out to be a perp. You can't listen. You can't live with a roommate nowadays because, you know, people will sacrifice their doggone roommates. Or they will set you up to to, to be, in, like, in a dangerous position. You know. So, um. And I had that narcissistic perp, Daphne, that I was trying to rent a room. And she was trying to charge $75 a week. But then she turned out to be a scam perp, a narcissistic scam perp. And then later on, she was a cab driver. And I have, I don't know if I still, I mean, I still have it, but I, you know, this, I don't think it's pub, made public right now, but <clears throat> of the video of her um, gaslighting and abusing me while she was driving a cab. You know, she so happened to be my cab ride. From in January, I had I went to the emergency room with the chest pain, and then she was the one who picked me up, and she kept on like when I when I tried to um reserve on the app for the cat taxi cab, she kept on rejecting my um or manipulating and trying to cancel my rides, and then she showed up and then trying to reverse it on me and lie and said I kept canceling rides. And she was wearing, guess what, the red and black plaid long sleeve shirt. I mean, her had an argument, you know. So, she made me real fucking mad. And um, just like she made me mad before. And me and her got into a heated argument and almost a damn, a whole damn fist fight. Because I left. I was at Daphne's house for not even 24 hours and I, you know, asked for, for my money, my $75 back. And she told me straight up, hell no. You, you know, she said, I already spent, and you saw me spend that $75 right in front of your face. So no, no. But she picked the argument with me for um going in the kitchen. It was a reasonable time, eight o'clock in the morning and go in the kitchen and go get milk and cereal and, you know, eat my breakfast. And then she got mad at me about that. And I wonder, and she said, oh, you should have ate in your room. Well, and she's younger than me, too. It's like, well, you didn't make rules for me. You didn't. But then she got these other just rules, written rules on her, all over her house. And she was like a total narcissistic abuser. So I walked out with without my $75 or eat, not even a, a bit of it. And... And I walked, like, I think three hours, and all I had was, like, a half gallon of milk to drink. And it was actually Labor Day, 2019, and I had um almost fell out because of the heat. But me drinking all that milk has saved me 
at the moment, but I didn't even want to drink so much milk in one sitting, but it, I mean, I was worn out and winded, and I walked all the way from um, Pensacola Village Projects in Pensacola, that's where she was renting rooms at, and she she was she was on Section 8. And then she would narcissistically, with a deceitful look and smile on her face, brag to strangers about donating plasma. So she was getting money, like living on Section 8 and then getting money all kinds of ways. And then on top of that, um, <clears throat> on, on top of that, she was paying no rent. She was renting out rooms to people and paying no rent herself. And then she allowed people, this couple who whose faces I'd never seen, they stayed in the room all day smoking weed. And so I couldn't, and then when dealing with Janet, Janet's boyfriend was smoking weed. And so he got, I guess they didn't like me because I had a problem with, with the weed smell. And Janet, you know, tried to lie for him and cover it up and stuff like that. But, you know, at least three perps. I, you know, the idea of attempting to rent a room and all these bastards here in Pensacola, you know, were perps. And even in New Orleans, I couldn't even get a decent room to rent. So that's very challenging. I need to get my own, but, you know, but the, my video about to cut off, so I'm going to talk to y'all later.